Hello everyone and welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be discussing how to prevent cloudy water after chlorination. To prevent cloudy water after chlorination, we want to ensure our chlorine levels are maintained at the appropriate level. Balance our pool's pH and alkalinity and CYA levels and keep the filter clean and functioning properly and remove debris. Number one is to maintain our chlorine levels. We want to make sure that our chlorine levels are consistently between two to four parts per million. Low chlorine levels can lead to algae growth, which is the main cause of cloudy water. You may want to switch from calcium hypochlorite to liquid chlorine as granular chlorine can cause cloudy water. Number two is to balance our pH, alkalinity, and our CYA, or cyanuric acid. We want to test our pool's pH, alkalinity, and CYA levels. Properly balanced water chemistry prevents the pH from going up and down and helps the chlorine work more effectively. Our pH levels are 7.2 to 7.8, alkalinity is 80 to 120 parts per million, and the CYA or cyanuric acid is 30 to 50 parts per million. Salt pools can have a slightly higher CYA from 50 to 70 parts per million. Number three is to ensure proper filtration. Keep your filter clean and ensure it's running properly. A clogged filter can prevent the removal of debris, which can lead to cloudy water. Be sure to clean or backwash your filter as needed. For most people, this is going to be about once per month. Number four is remove debris. Skim the pool and clean the skimmer baskets to remove leaves and other debris. We'll want to vacuum our pool on a regular basis to remove dirt and sediment from the bottom. Remember, it's clean, clean, and then clean. Number five is a shock treatment. When needed, you can shock the pool with a high dose of chlorine to kill the bacteria and algae spores. Shocking the pool can help restore clarity after chlorine levels have dropped or after periods of high use. For liquid chlorine, you'll want to use one gallon for every 10,000 gallons of pool water. This will increase the free chlorine level to 10 parts per million. And number six is to use a clarifier. If the water remains cloudy after shocking and balancing and cleaning the filter, you may want to add a clarifier. Clarifiers help bind smaller particles together, and then the larger particles get caught in the filter to be cleaned or backwashed out. Only use a clarifier if you have a cartridge filter. You don't want to use a flocculant. Flocks need to be vacuumed to waste, and cartridge filters simply don't have a multiport valve that allows them to be vacuumed to waste. And for more information about this, you can head on over to my website, Clean Pool and Spa. Lots of great information over there, great resources. So thank you, have a great day, and happy swimming.